I'm Sean Lee and today we're going to be going over some uh, eye gauging tools and we're going to take a look at this Tesla Model X tire here. It's a little worn so we want to see how deep the uh, grooves are here and if, uh, if it needs to be replaced. And while we're here we'll take a look at uh, the rotors and some other parts and use the proper tools to, to measure them. So stay with us and I'll show you what we can do here. Thanks. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, actually just measure the, the depths on this tire, um, the uh, groove depth, and see, you know, is this tire any good anymore? Um, should we switch to a new tire like this? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's fairly bald, um, but it's probably still in legal limits. So we're going to use the uh, eye gauging depth gauge here, and this is an origin uh, depth gauge, which means it has an absolute depth already set. Um, and we also have the smart uh, uh, device on here that you can send it to your iPad got up here. So I can click this button and actually send my measurements to the, the iPad to record. Well, let's take a look here. So I place it on the uh, groove, set it to there. So, and I've got a depth of 3.1 millimeters, or let's switch it to inches here, and I've got uh, 1 eighth, just under 1 eighth. That's, uh, that's cutting it pretty close. So the legal limit is um, Two thirty seconds, or the recommended limit is about four thirty seconds, which is one eighth. So we're right at the recommended limit. Um, wouldn't want to drive this car in too many wet, kind of rainy conditions. You might hydroplane uh, with this small of a, with this uh, shallow of a depth. So we'll eventually replace it with this one here. As soon as we, of course, we can't do that. Sit here. I got to go to the tire store to do that. Um, but there's some interesting things with this new tire. I'll show you that now. After we take this tire off, uh, I'm going to check the rotors too, and we we'll use the rotor gauge here to do that. Um, and let me show you this tire here, it's kind of cool, on the, on the, specifically to test it. Okay, so here's the new Tesla tire, and something interesting that you may notice is inside it has this foam, and that's actually for soundproofing. So, it, because the, uh, the Tesla is an all-electric vehicle, it's very quiet and any road noise produced by the tire is easy to hear. So they actually insulate it to cut down the noise. Pretty cool. Okay, so the one we just used here with the, the uh, smart interface um, for your iPad or computer, um, this one runs, this whole package runs about 80 bucks or so. Um, but it's not only useful for measuring tire depths, it actually comes with a whole kit of uh, extension uh, rods here. So you can run, measure up to 16 inches depth. Um, you know, anything that's up to 16 inches deep, you can measure that. Um, so that's that's a pretty cool device. But if you don't need something so fancy, you can get the, the other snap depth here. And this one runs about 25 bucks, so uh, about three times less. Um, doesn't have, you know, the, the depth that, that the uh, this guy does. <coughs> and it doesn't have the uh, um, Wi-Fi connection. But it'll still do the same job measuring tires or smaller things up to four inches in depth. Uh, and that runs about 25 bucks. So, good thing to have. Okay. All right, now uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take the tire off and we'll measure the rotor. I right, removed the tire from the uh, Model X here. And uh, just note that there's a, a jack point on or behind each of the four tires. Um, so we use the jack point. Don't use the battery to lift uh, this car. All right, now we've got our rotor here with the beautiful red uh, calipers. Now, so we want to measure the, the rotor thickness here. And uh, let's take a look at these brakes. But the brake pads look really good, um, as expected, because the uh, uh, Tesla uses electric braking, so it doesn't use much brakes, unless you're really hitting them hard. OK, so I've got my rotor gauge here. And uh, if I set it to set it to 0, OK. So I'm just going to measure the thickness of the this side of the rotor. So I simply put it on like that, touch it against, and there we go, uh, 8.9 millimeters. Uh, simple as that. Okay, now that we've uh, measured the rotor, and it's uh, about 9 millimeters thick, so plenty good there. You know, uh, like I said earlier, the brakes on the Tesla, they went around for quite a while because of the electric uh, motor. Now, if you do have a if you don't have a Tesla, this works just as fine too. If you have drum brakes on the back, um, you want to use a different tool, and we have a tool for that. And this is the drum brake uh, caliper. So 
works on s small cars all the way up to you know the big rigs. But these are accurate down to five ten thousandths uh, of an inch. So, all right, we'll get the uh, the tire back on. And, uh, let's go back on. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.